Hey y'all, what's good? It's Nip Life. Welcome to the episode. Death Row, yo. Snow. We're gonna get into this Sauvignon Blanc, yo. Golly. You know what I mean? Sauvignon Blanc grape is a green skin grape. 14% alcohol. Made in California. Uh, citrusy, melon, hints of all that. You know what I mean? You know how we do. Let's get in. And meanwhile, while we're gonna taste this, I'm sliding my glass over. Give it that pull, give it that twist. Sip up, baby, give it that swirl. Mmm. Got a little mat, I want to say sweetness. A little medium, medium body. Light, light to medium. Perfect, this is the pull. But yo. United Hip Hop 50. I got a Grandmaster Cash story. Legendary pioneer Grandmaster Cash. I think he got a birthday coming up. Shout out. And Cash, always, it was certain MCs that, it was a bunch of MCs. Not like that, but it was certain MCs that just stood out. Melly Mel, Rod, Grandmaster Cash, and they just had this certain present. It was like a tear. These ones, and it was people under them, and people under them, you know what I mean? Neighborhood, local crews, and shit. Because mostly every neighborhood at that point had a crew, so almost every block, couple, three blocks had a crew. Everybody was DJs, everybody was turning to MCs. Probably my biggest, and I respect Cass to this day, and I, I, I messaged him and told him the story. This, <laughs> this was, his reply was, Wow. So basically it went down my biggest, biggest night in hip hop. It's gonna be probably 1981, 1982. And I had I was solo. So I had a DJ, my DJ was Greg Ski. He, me and him grew up uh met each other when I was like 10 years old. We grew up on the same block, 223rd Street, plus from Pumpkin. So later on we reunited and he was a DJ and shit. We were like, oh shit. So Greg was down with me and Gene which was Theodore, when was it Theodore's brother. So me and Greg started doing our thing, that routines and shit, you know, rocking out. And then this big, big shit, my biggest night was gonna be at the Audubon. Now the Audubon Ballroom is huge. Audubon Ballroom historic is where Malcolm X got assassinated. So mostly you had your top tier, you know, rappers messing with that. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was huge, it was huge for me back then, it was huge. So, uh, everybody was there. I mean, Cold Crush. I mean, it was all, every crew almost was there. It was that, that huge for shit. So, we behind, we backstage. Now, JDL, Jerry D. Lewis, who was down with Grand, Grandmaster Castle and the Cold Crush, you know, Cold Crush brothers, was, he was one of my favorite MCs. He was not saying he, was def- he had all these bars, but his style and his funky shit and his routines, the way he did shit was just dope. So, him and Greg was arguing. They going back and forth. I don't know about what. I'm, I'm, so I'm standing there like, oh, man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm feeling the energy. These niggas is back and forth. Nah, 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 nah. So JDL says to Greg, yo, I bet y'all don't get on. So Greg is like, yo, I bet we do. And I'm like, ah, here the fuck we go. Here go the bullshit. Hold on, let me take another swirl. So they going back and forth. So, JDL is like, yo, if y'all get on, then I ain't going on. So, like, ah. so at that time, Kaz is walking, Kaz had walked by earlier and was like, yo, and he, you know, telling them to chill with all that. So, at this point, he hears uh, JDL, you know, J- Kaz is right there, and JDL's like, yo, so if they go on, I ain't going on. So... <laughs> Greg's little, I'm little, I'm probably like 4'11", he's probably like 4'9", I don't know, we was little niggas, so, Kaz was tall, so Kaz looks at us and says, look at me, look at Greg, and he says, I guess y'all little niggas ain't getting on, so, <laughs> yeah, I can't even imagine how my fucking facial expression fucking went, but it was fucking, it was, it was, it was, it was the worst, man, I was, I was fucking pissed, man, I was, uh, not at Greg, I don't know, I wasn't pissed at Greg and shit, you know, later on, we, we got interviewed by the Village Voice, so that was dope. But later on, years go by, like, I asked Greg last year, you know, like, I told him, he don't rem- he remembers, but he don't remember the argument. He was like, it's probably been some dumb shit. 
over some girl. And I'm, he was like, yeah, me and him always look. Yeah, but this is my biggest night in hip hop, yo. But anyway, it's Hip Hop 50. We tried the Snoop 19 Crimes, Sauvignon Blanc. It's crisp, it's nice, you know what I mean? And it got a floral finish, baby. So keep hip hop alive. And remember, if hip hop was not invented or didn't exist, where the fuck would we be? Want some disco shit? Nah, pause. Peace.